Welcome to C++ Coding Ninja. Hello everyone. Today's tutorial is going to be about C++ else if statements. So, let's say we want to create a program that will tell which number is greater if for example if you input two numbers the program will tell which number is the is the big, biggest or this or the smallest or which one is equal so let's try making it so the first thing you'd want to do is you want to write define two variables let's say int a and int b uh, b now let's say c out <coughs> what is the first number uh first number you want to input okay um I have to think of better words, but let's just say it's that. Space. C N A. And it should be the other way around. C out. What is the second? Uh, the second number you want to input and then c in b now you can do it this way if Um, if A is greater than B, then, then C out, uh, A, the first number, is greater than the second number we should just capitalize this now we can write another if statement or perhaps if else statement if a is less than b or actually uh, less than b then c out the second number is greater than the first number and we should write a semicolon on these on both of these lines And then we write an out statement. Else, uh, else, uh, you don't need parentheses for else. Else, see out. Both numbers are equal. Well, I can already find um. A few mistakes with this program. Let's just first run it and see if everything's good. What's the first number you want to input? One, two. Oh, wait, what happened? One, two. Second number is greater than the first number. Okay, well, that was good. It's just that, um, 
it's just that it's not that fluent and clear because what you can do is you can use else if and now everything is in one if statement and and it's going to be much easier and better to read it does the same thing it's just that it'll be more clearer to um for example if you have to do a programming exam then you can just um then it'll be easier for the examiner to read it so so um yeah if if you ever have to do a programming exam then you can just it'll be easier for the examiner to read and you will and you will will be able to do programming better and more clearer so um i guess this is it about the video else of statements so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I guess I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching my video. If you have any questions, please write them down in the comment section below. If you liked the video, please click like, subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you can get notified when I upload my next video.